Pass it. I'm ready. That's I'm ready. That's the husband. I don't know who bet that is. I don't know. I had one. I don't know what happened. Walks, they had legs or something. I don't know. He's messy. I had two, matter of fact. He gave me two. Thank you. I got one. Oh, you know, Chris. Jules, Billy, Cardi, Michelle, all the other together. That's a great shot. Mister James, quick tell us how are you doing today, sir? You kick your own butt, huh? Huh? All right, so we out here in the Battle Boxing Hall of Fame, right? All right. All right, so how, how far did you come out here to, to, to be a part of this? I'm touring by little about 75 miles away, about 160. And uh, it's good to be here. And the toughest day of my life right here with Ernest Hill. He gets the hardy turn break, bring him back tomorrow. He's with over him right in the ninth round. I spin around and around. Got a crown on him, left kneecap. <laughs> Y'all hear that? BigDBoxingFans.com. That is James Quick Tillis. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's right. Have a great time up here. James Quick Tillis, y'all. BigDBoxingFans.com. He's doing a very, very good job. Very good job. Everybody else, you know, with business. So I commentate a lot of fights, a lot of commentary. Um, people always want to come for the gym, but I don't know how. You know. But I love the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. It's very supportive of boxing. Who needs to get more involved? In it. That's what I do. Okay, well, you touched on some really good points. I mean, first of all, you're seeing both sides of it as a fighter, but also as the businessman who's trying to help make the sport, make the notoriety for the boxers evolve. What can people do to be able to uh, to get more involved, whether it's financially or supportive or volunteering? Get more involved by letting other people know that don't know about it. That's number one. Marketing is everything. Sure. Okay, the more people know about the Nevada Box Hall of Fame, the less excuses you have not to write a check, right? <laughs> So send money, of course. Send money, support the hall. Okay, come to the events, support the hall, like this one today. All things like that promote boxing. Number one, number two, promote the Battle Box Hall of Fame. Remember, the awards cost money. The airfare costs money. The hotels cost money. The food costs money. So all of that costs money. This is not done free. So we need the support. Well, again, shedding light on the, the overhead and the obvious business costs, but even what will we be able to do as we expand the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame and hopefully bring a museum here and do I things for the local gyms? How do you see that working? Well, I see that working pretty good. Michelle mm -hmm. donate every single year to a profitable cause. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a boxing gym, or boxing equipment. There might be a, a hospital. It could be something. Uh, it could be a website, a boxing <laughs> site. It could be my man here. Right? <laughs> something that supports the game. Okay? Boxing is a very vital game. People don't realize how vital it is to the sports industry because it's like black eyes sometimes, okay? Like you'll see a football play on TV, a baseball play on TV, a bat you don't see a boxer sometimes. Why they can't? Even in boxing movies, they don't put boxes in. How you can't? <laughs> I don't get that, right? Um, that's why I broadcast and I commentate boxing for 23 years now because I want to keep in tune with the viewer. I want the viewer to understand the sport. A lot of people don't understand the sport of boxing. The idea has been to get hit, not hit and not get hit. Okay, don't get hit. So when you appreciate the art and the craft of the sport, the pugilism, pugilism, that's what it's called, the dictionary term. So you have to understand that boxing is bigger than what people are seeing right now. It's not a fight anymore. It's a boxing match. Okay, so you transition as a boxer into the business world. Yes. How do you think that the skills that you learned in the gym, in a fight, has transitioned over to the real world? <laughs> Everything in life they compare to a boxing match, if you think about it. To get knocked down, get up, right? So all those terminologies, boxing is dependable of a lot of things. People will go say, you gotta have a psychiatry in your head. Built and developed so strong that nothing can stop you. I mean, look, I, I tell people all the time, all thing that stopped me is death. They just think, oh, it's crazy. Good, exactly. Because that's what I want you to believe. The thing is, you gotta go at it with a passion, okay? That nothing can stop you. It's gotta be more important than air and food and water. It's got to be that way to become a champion. People understand that the level you got to go to. To become a world champion, you got to want to be the best. And unheard. And I went ran, I ran the 90s, and I was very appreciative of that. God bless me. And um, now I'm trying to take over the microphone, one of these. And I've been doing that for 23 years and do the same thing on the microphone that I did in the boxing room. 
Well, I know you're doing it. I follow you. I'm a fan as well. So uh, kudos to you. Anything else that you want to mention that you want to talk Yeah, well, September 16th. Of course, Canelo vs. Triple G. I'll be in the room. I'll probably be on the microphone with a headset on. And um, look for that fight coming up. That, the, the Mayweather, Canelo, Conor McGregor fight, that's a little different. Okay, that's an event. A boxing match is happening on the 16th. See the difference, people? <laughs> See the difference? Boxing match event. Okay? It's an event. An MMA fighter is like taking a Kudu Jabbar and putting him on a football team. Okay? Or taking, Le or taking LeBron James. Okay, it's a good idea. Maybe a UFC fight for him. <laughs> so this is just what we just okay, it's entertainment. So understand, entertainment. And when you come into our game and you want to be entertaining, you're about to get a rude awakening. I believe Conor McGregor, he doesn't understand. I, I give him credit for doing it, because I think anybody would do it cross over and make millions of dollars. Smart move. Yeah. But watch the event. Yeah, right. Well said, very well said. I think I just said that about 30 minutes ago as well. Thank so you. We're on the same page, but uh, it was a pleasure. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at the gala. Oh, thank you very much. I'll be there. Okay, fair and square. Come to the galas. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. And the food is good, too. Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly, y'all. BigDBoxingPage.com. This is my man, y'all. This is my man. Wait till I drop this boxing show. Hey, hit me up, Kevin, on the it's show, crazy. man. He wants, everybody wants my machine to be here. Remember the machine? You went to the expo? Yeah. You seen the machine I have? Yeah. Michelle for me for the machines. I didn't. We, we building. We got 40 oils building. We got 10 machines getting built. So, and it comes with the colors. It's crazy. So, we've been getting phone calls about this machine. And it's been it's been really crazy. So, we want to have If I had one here, I'd be really thinking about the machine. So, next time, we're going to shout out to the bank. I'm having a machine. Fantastic. I'm excited. So, Jeremy, which one is this? Is this the one I...